Okay. Uh, English. Clock starting me off with some hard questions here. Thank you guys for the subs, though. Oh, my God. Thank you, everyone, for resubbing as well. I, and I can't wait to take 50% of that. Yes! I can't wait to take half of that. And to give the other half to a corporation. And to the current time. P it's PM. Is this fucking British? No, it's PM. It's already meta. How's it already meta? There we go. Wait. Wait, did I? Hang on, what? Wait, did I do the right thing there? Wait, did I? Hang on, what? Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? Did I do the right thing there? I was trying to. Wait, did I? Why am I getting. Why is it zooming in on the. Why is it zooming in? This wasn't even supposed to be the bit! The! This wasn't even supposed to be the bit! The! I'm Pixels. I'm Pixels. I'm a gradient. Black to white, white to black. Colors, they melt together. Space! I see space! I'm Pixels. I'm Pixels. Every second you spend in my screen is a year in real life. I don't know I see space! Yeah, let's let's go ahead and give it a shot. This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's my real name. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Squid Game. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. And in what order? This is what I do. This is what employee 427 did every day of every <laughs> And Stanley was happy. Yay, hey, Stanley! Dude. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Dream went live. He had been at his desk <laughs> for nearly an hour when he... Re Whoa. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Okay, yeah. Nothing will hurt me. Yeah. Nothing will break me. Yeah. In here, I can be happy. Forever. Yeah. I will be happy. Yeah. Stanley waited. I turned. I Hours curl up in the ball. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. The pause, champ. Soon, ending. Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Okay. Now it's just a little bit closer. All right. Now it's even closer. <gasps> Here it comes. <laughs> okay, let's not do that again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 424, 456 has got to be around here somewhere. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, you don't, you, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. It was so funny, though. Who? Oh! What? What did I- wait, wait, hang on. I'm binary. Stanley clicked on literally- Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? 
click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? I, I, no, 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 no. I didn't do it. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. I thought that was now good. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. That's a good... No, no, I'm coming I'm for you, Adam Sandler. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. Yeah, I want to see some hustle, okay. Stanley. You're right, you're right, you're I want right. to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the okay, cost. Okay, all right. Why don't you go put 100... 20 clicks into door number 417? Harvest. Cookie harvest. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. I... something is wrong with me. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Yes, papa! 17415. 1, 2, 3, Now, back to door number 437. What? I think it was for... Let's see. How about you click on... well, I don't know... The copy machine. I have to. All right, back to room 417. What? I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. I think you're right. I think you're right. This is feel... Oh, my God. I'm being tempted by Satan. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. I'm feeling... I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling really good about this. Why am I start... I'm not start... Why am I starting soon? <gasps> yes. Yes. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Yay. Don't give me a few clicks on door 416. Yes, sir. Woo! We've almost got it. Oh, my Not God! The copy machine. Do that one again. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> let's just say copy that. Sir! Finish it off, Stanley! Five <laughs> clicks on door four three zero! Yes! <laughs> we did it! Tell you what, dude. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm a liberal. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. He didn't. He didn't. He wanted to find door 456 and go squid game <sighs> in there. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> yes... Really, really worth it being here in the room. All right, fine, fine, room, fine, but fine. eager to get back to business, fine. Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> oh, I certainly could. All right, I could go to the funny. That is a funny chair, dude. Oh! Why was it the old guy the whole time? Let's, let's rebel, let's rebel. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Was that a reference to Stanley Parable? Will cause death, which means while it is standing completely still! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Okay, okay. To, to be fair... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'll be the Stanley I was meant to be, okay? I'll follow your rules. I'll follow your rules. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office broom closet well I, I mean Stanley stepped into the broom closet but there was nothing here so he turned around and got back on track there is the br there is the broom though you can't say there's nothing in here I mean I'm in here I could close what there if I close the door here. 
No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. It's a sun. No reason to still be here. Oh my god, is that a staple gun? Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Se Why? Secrets. Please offer me some explanation the here. Secrets. I'm, I'm genuinely the secrets. confused. Is it? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Yeah, that's what chat's saying. I hope your friends find this concern. Yeah, they're saying the broom closet ending is the best ending, dude. I gotta know what happens. Welcome, Stanley Raiders, to the stream. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Oh, he probably only got no! the job because of a fam. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Holy shit, a dead body! I think he must have been live or something. Oh! Oh, you ah, can step out! Second player, it's good to have you on board. Good to be here. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. What did you do? What did you do to him? It's something with this, isn't it? It's something in here, isn't it? You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species what happened of to him invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? I do- it's crazy! I actually do have a fungus from Slime Story. What? Email report? <laughs> what? Okay, still just here with a corpse. I'm gonna walk downstairs instead. <gasps> um. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And, for the and at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream! Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Ah! Then he Too imagined beautiful. himself soaring through space on a magical star field. So, I don't want to go! I don't want to go to- so much fun. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Yes. That this was a dream. Yes. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Bye -bye boy. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Yes. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife I'm married? and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Please, please, please. Am I what do we more? What do we more? What do we more? And everything went black. Oh. 
This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What the fuck happened here? Holy shit. Were they live? Holy shit, man. They're fucking... They're, they're two dead people right there. Um, well, I, I guess, uh... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What's up, everyone on the, on the, on the stream? Uh, I'm Slemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemakemak
Yeah, okay, so it does non-linear. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Oh, uh, not Ladies you and told gentlemen, me to. not you how does he keep to. coming up with all of this? I just, it's my own thing, okay? It's, don't make it weird, bro. I just wanted to see. Oh, fuck you, dude. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? <laughs> I saw someone type in chat, I desire the narrator carnally. Woo! Oh my god. It's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. I know, this is big. Okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation it's and to big. move forward it's with- It's big, No, man. no, wait. No, I need more time to process. That's fair, take- yeah, take- Curiously. He pushed the red button, labeled with a downwards arrow. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. What could How be did the I not anticipate it? Not a after breath what's of about fresh to happen. air in a landscape of storytelling Things are about that has grown stale and repetitive. Things are about to change. Oh, I need, I should, uh, I need to upgrade. Hmm. You know what? I need to level I up at a bonfire. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Oh. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. Could be anything. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. You never know? Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious. I know. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. It's time to see them. It's time for the Stan parable. Ah, yes, here it is, just through this door. That was the Minecraft door opening sound. That was at, that was the Minecraft door opening sound that just played. Doing great. Conversation with Alex. He's dead. Welcome, All Stanley. Right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling. Remember where I came from. It all started going up. But sometimes you gotta stop and look down. Jessica from high school all the fucking way! There was so much more! There was so much more! All of his co-workers were gone. I'm just here, I'm just a guy, surrounded in, in dead bodies that look exactly like me! I should call the police. I do actually have to end the stream. Um. Let's raid, oh, let's raid Schlatt. He's live right now. Here we go. Goopy, goopy, gunky, gunky, be funky.